Oh, look at those claws. <laughs> Hello boys! <laughs> Hello boys! Hello boys! Yeah, mark your territory there, big boy. Sure, look at you guys. Why are you wet? Has it been raining? Yeah, it does sound as if it's been raining here, hey. Ooh, nice stretch. You stuck in the you stuck in the <laughs> you stuck in the thorn bush. <laughs> You've got you got half a thorn bush stuck to your tail now, my boy. Come here. Let's get it out your way. Hello, my boy. Hello, my boy. Hello, my boy. <laughs> what a happy lion. Happy lions. Uh, winter is here, but it's winter with a twist because um, it's yeah, it's uh, rainy, miserable, and cold. Um, but, I tell you something, it's good to go for a walk, eh? Should we go for a walk? All right, so I'm just gonna go uh, to the other side, the opposite side, I'm just gonna get, uh, drive around there. And then I'll call these two up, and we can go on a nice enrichment walk. And what I'm gonna be doing today is answering a few questions that have uh, come up. Um, always getting emails and um, questions, comments on Instagram and on YouTube for me to answer and follow up on. So I will uh, answer a few of those while taking uh, George and Yami for a walk. Right, so I've just walked to the opposite end and I'm gonna call George and Yami this way. Look at that, what a beautiful sight. <laughs> oh! There we go, my boy! There we go! Here he comes. Here he comes. Always willing and able. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yes. this line. I haven't seen George like this in, in ages. <laughs> He's really getting those smells all over him. Ooh, it's all over his face. Here comes Yummy. Look at that face. Hello, my boy. Marking like a very fit, strong, healthy male. That's what confident male line does. Georgie. Oh. Confident line with a bit of a weird walk because of his past ailments. <laughs> oh, look at that. What a beautiful cat. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Can't go for my camera. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah. You're looking for this. You're looking for this. I promise you, you're looking for that. You're looking for that. You see? Yeah, I'm not stupid. I know what lions look like and want. 
Oh, now those hyena are teasing you. You can go and have a go at them just now. Part of your fun. Ooh. Oh, look at those claws. See those claws, guys? Yeah. That's one of the questions that I wanted to answer. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh boy, both of these lines. I was swatting at my GoPro today, I hope. I hope that my camera survives. Yeah, he's going to go and sharpen his claws on the tree or mark it. And that's what it's about if you're a big male lion. Oh, you just don't want to get thorns in your paw, boy. Oh! <laughs> Come here, I'll take it out. If you bring it here, I can take it out. So I'm going to try and answer some questions, guys. I've, we often get questions coming in um, uh, on the YouTube channel, uh, on Instagram, uh, as well as in email form. Some people are genuinely interested and are, and are really trying to get to understand uh, what's at play here um, at the sanctuary and my relationships with the lions. And you can see uh, from where the question comes, it's a genuine want to know question. And then there's other questions where people are just trying to get clever. Um, you know, they, they're trying to catch you out. So um, we, we are transparent here at the sanctuary and yeah, we'll, we'll answer any question that's put to us. But what I don't appreciate, um, I suppose like, like anyone, is the hidden agendas, you know. So let, let's start by answering a few questions. One of them that came up is like, do I declaw my lions? Because, you know, you just doesn't make sense. You walking around with these animals and you know why don't they put their claws out and and just claw you to pieces so people have been following me for years and know that i've been working with lions for 22 years now um, and so you get to know them pretty well in that 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 time frame you also get to know that these animals um, are different characters they different personalities. So Yame versus George, they're both brothers. They both had exactly the same upbringing, input, love, affection, you name it. But George has just always been a more touchy-feely, affectionate lion, and Yame less so. Yeah, we don't we don't declaw our lions. You could see from the video that I was filming earlier on of, of Yame, uh, George scratching in the dirt. You could see his claws quite clearly coming out and scratching the ground. Um, and the same with Yame, uh, just now was clawing a tree. Lions need their claws. Uh, they use their claws like we use our fingers. So, you know, imagine I took all your, imagine I took all your fingers off and I said, ah, but you can still live. You don't really need your fingers. Um, yes, you do. You need them to write, you need them to grab, you need them to do so many different things. Now, lions, they... <laughs> yeah, is coming up to the hyenas and he's, into, he's entering into like a stalk mode. So he's going to try and get his face because his face is quite interesting when, when he gets into stalk mode. Look at his face. Look at that. How he pins his ears back. Oh, <laughs> uh, the fun, yummy, the fun. Isn't that just fun, boy? Eh? Hey? Isn't that just fun? You know, these guys think it's fun. It's fun. It's fun to tease hyenas. <laughs> and the hyenas get just as much joy out of taunting the lions. Except today, that was like a non-starter. I think it's like the 
the gig is to go and stalk them, give them a, a bit of a, a fright. Well, not that it gives them a fright, but it's to say it uh, makes them feel good. So I've had a question from um, a chap named Trevor Pelly as I wait for George to come running up. I don't know where Yami is. I think Yami is still rolling in that other midden. Hello boy. Oh. Mm. I'll answer your question shortly, Trevor Kelly. Hello boy. So um, what Trevor's noticed is that when you shine a light into the eyes of a lion or a leopard or other uh, carnivores it goes from its normal coloration be it a yellowy color in some cases let's just leave it at that to red um, it gets like that red eye effect um, and reflects back red so he wants to know why so the, the reason for that is is uh, basically twofold um, the red eye effect, which we also get when you uh, shine a flash or you do flash photography um, into a human eye, you get the reflection of the retina uh, coming back at you. And that's the red eye effect. Now what happens with the um, predators, because they have this reflective layer known as the tapetum lucida. Um, now because of that, the reflection they get that reflection, that reflection, um, it's the reflective layer, the tibetum lucida, utilized in um, taking the ambient light and kind of uh, directing it into, into the fovea. So basically enhancing their night vision. That's what the, that reflective layer is for. And what you are seeing when you shine a spotlight into these predators' eyes is you're reflecting you're getting seeing that reflection but it is enhancing the red so you get a reddish kind of eye coming back at you all right a question from paul kinney uh, who's a member and subscriber uh, to the channel you're asking the question as to how do the animals react when i'm not feeling 100 um, percent are they aware yes the answer to that question is yes, they are aware that I'm not feeling 100% myself um, and they do react accordingly, but they don't react in the way that a lot of people think they will, um, i.e. now turning on me because I'm weak. That's not how they are, they don't turn on their weak like people would like to believe the other underlying complexities when we see these kind of events happening. So when I'm not feeling up to, uh, up to it or not feeling myself and I do go in with the lions, um, interestingly enough they seem to detect that and they actually in many respects are more gentle with me. Now that I am a bit older and the lions are all aging they also react accordingly so they don't jump on me as much anymore. Um, and they, they've, they've really just toned down the, the you know, um, boisterous behavior. Yeah. And in you go. Good boy. And like that, two lines safely back. Happy as Larry, they've had a wonderful, wonderful walk.